Warning, the Savage Nation contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation, home of unprotected talk, borders, language, culture, and here he is, Michael Savage. All right, stop the music. Everyone in America with a brain is asking one question. Spencer Stone, the hero in the France, the France train attack, was stabbed almost mortally in Sacramento last night in a bar fight. And yet the PC police in Jerry Brown's backyard of Sacramento, California, will not release the descriptions of the perps. Five men, five Asian men in undershirts, stabbed him almost to death. And then they put out a, a little uh, re news release, the PC police, says, We firmly believe that this is not a terrorism-related event and that it is in no way related to the incident that occurred in France. The assault does not appear to be a random act and is believed to be a nightlife-related incident. Can you believe the police in America have been so deballed that they would call an incident like this a nightlife-related incident? Do you understand how psychotic this country has become over the last 40 years of radical feminists who have destroyed malehood itself? Now, we're asking a question. Because everyone in America is asking the same question. Was this a jihadi revenge attack? The PC police released this crap release. We've been on them all morning saying we want to see the police report because police reports are very detailed. They describe perpetrators. They describe them in great detail. They will not release it to us. The Sacramento Police Department, Samuel D. Summers Jr., Chief of Police, shame on you for not releasing this report. All you will say is that Asian men were involved. Listen to the news report that came out a few minutes ago on the perpetrators because we'd like to know who they really are. And, and, and the, the key question here is, was this a revenge attack by jihadis in our midst? Period. End of story. We have a right to know. Listen. The suspects in this crime are two male Asian adults. The, male, the males are being described as wearing white T-shirts and blue jeans. The suspects, we believe, fled in a 2009 to 2012 dark gray or black Toyota Camry. This incident is a very unfortunate um, altercation between two groups who are enjoying the nightlife in Midtown Sacramento. This enjoying incident is not related to terrorism in any way, um, and we do not believe in any way, we know it's not related to what occurred in France. How uh, do you know? Ago. How do you know? Because the idiot who runs your department told you to say that? How do you know that? If you know that, then tell us how you know it. It's that simple. We the people are not that stupid. Now, what does Asian mean? It's offensive, by the way, to Asians who are not violent. Obviously, Sikhs, Hindus, and other Asian non-Muslims, including Jains, Zoroastrians, Christians, and Buddhists, don't want to be associated with the word Asian when it refers to a violent act. And yet we here in America are regaled with this PC term, Asian males. What does that mean? Who are they? So far as I know, this is an unusual situation. I don't know of Asian males randomly attacking a white male. Do you? Does this often happen? And by the way, I watched the police video from a convenience store across the street, rather. And it shows five or six uh, males in white undershirts stabbing one male. Didn't seem too random to me. When you see five or six animals attacking a man, it doesn't look too random to me. It looks like it was something more than random. But we don't know because the Sacramento Police Department, totally gelded by the political correctness movement of Mao Zedong, will not release any further details no matter how we ask them. All we know is that Spencer Stone, hero in France train attack, is stabbed in Sacramento, and the police are, at this point, not telling us any more than we already have ex disclosed to you. There's no indication that whoever stabbed Stone knew who he was. The airman was out with four friends, one male and three female, and had a run-in with two or three men. There was a dispute that led to the altercation. There were conversations, and then it continued down the block where the stabbing took place. 
police have not named any suspects, but they're seeking two men believed to have fled in a dark Toyota Camry. A clerk at the A&P liquor store, by the way, at the intersection where the stabbing occurred, said he saw video of it from the store's street surveillance camera. And here's what Brian Romandia said. Pretty much all you see on the tape is the altercation. They're in the middle of the street fighting, like in the middle of the intersection. There's like kind of going back and forth. And then you see a guy lunge and he kind of gets stabbed. You see discolorment. He said indicating an area on his own chest. And then they all kind of disperse. Ladies and gentlemen, I do not know who stabbed him. But I do know the police are covering something up. And for them to go so far as to say that Asians were involved in this incident is suspicious to me because the British are long used to using the acronym, or shall I say, the word Asian to cover up you-know-who. You-know-who are called Asians in England, don't you? That's a broad category. So what actually happened? We don't know. I think it's time to stop using the word Asian. I think it's an insult to Sikhs, to Hindus, to others who are generally never involved in violent incidents. I think it's an insult to Jains, Zoroastrians, Christian Asians, Buddhist Asians, who don't want to be associated with a violence. Don't you? Don't you think it's time to stop using the word Asian when violence is reported? Don't you think the police ought to be a little more specific? Because I think using the category Asian is quite racist unto itself. Isn't that ironic that the police who are so afraid of being called racist would use a word that is just laden with racism? When you say Asian, aren't you sort of smearing an entire group of people? What do you mean Asian? What does that mean? Well, was it a bar fight on the other hand? Could be gang violence. It could be another bar fight and stabbing. He was attacked outside a bar after some kind of verbal confrontation. Geniuses in the police department say alcohol was involved. Really? Alcohol in bars? How did they put that together? I guess they called in the FBI to find out that alcohol was related to it. But let me tell you this. Bartenders have written the following. They said he could have just been involved in a bar fight because he was a tall, good-looking white man who also stood up for people, by the way. Someone wrote, there is always some guy with a chip on his shoulder, something to prove or just suffering from little man syndrome, who has one or five too many, and decides to take on the biggest, baddest cat in the bar, or in this case, the hero of the hour, and that's just the men. He writes, forget about the predatory chicks looking for a baby daddy, or sexual offense lawsuit and a meal ticket. They can be even more dangerous because they're a beguiling temptation. Nothing good happens, he says, in those places after midnight, and many a promising young man learns that to his regret. Prayers for a true hero, a AFC, Spencer Stone, and nothing but scorn for the vermin. That's the opening to the show. I don't know what you can say about it that I haven't already said. But I have a little update for you on a related story, not related to the Spencer Stone stabbing. Sanctuary cities, counties, and states. There are now 340 sanctuary cities who have released 9,295 criminals. You didn't know that? You didn't know that Obama's releasing criminals on the streets? Oh, they're low-grade criminals. Just as the Castros have been uh, rehabilitated, no longer Stalinist murderers. To Obama, the leftist, anti-American hippie, the Castros are not really uh, bad guys. They're not Stalinists. No. No, no. He, rev he revised them in his mind. So that's why he's releasing criminals on the streets, such as Victor Aureliano Hernandez Ramirez, who, together with an accomplice, was arrested for raping and then bludgeoning 64-year-old Marilyn Farris of Santa Maria, California, who died eight days later. Ramirez had been arrested for battery in May of 2014 and was actually in the custody of the Santa Barbara County Sheriff. ICE issued a detainer in order to begin the deportation process, but the sheriff did not comply in accordance with California's state sanctuary law that went into effect on January 2014th. Thank you, Jerry Brown. How about the others who have been released in the streets, like the one who killed Kate here in San Francisco? Whatever happened to that case? The one who said he was shooting sea lions. Sanctuary cities, crime. Crime on the increase. There are other stories that I'm going to talk about today. Should we stop calling them ISIS? That's right. Did you know that in the UK they don't want to call them ISIS anymore? 
because it's offensive to Muslims? Cameron said that if you call them ISIS, it will cause Muslim audiences to recoil every time they hear it. Rather, Cameron, the genius, said the group that rapes, murders, and pillages should be called Daesh, an Arab acronym for ISIS that also sounds like the Arabic for one who sows discord. The BBC, as gelded as it is, has so far refused Cameron's request. But this is a debate that's extending beyond the United Kingdom. A number of Arab governments and France's foreign minister already use Daesh, for examples. A policy that apparently has even irritated ISIS. They want to be called ISIS. ISIS. They want you to know that it's an Islamic State. The only people who don't want you to know it's Islamic State are idiots like Cameron, Obama, and the entire media complex in the United States of America and in England. Should we stop calling the group ISIS and instead start calling it Daesh? Well, let's look into that. Here's another little story related to ISIS or Daesh or Islamic State, whatever you want to call them. It's about sexual slavery. It has everything to do with Islam or nothing to do with Islam. Did you know that Sweden is now the rape capital of the West? Did you know that it's not being reported in Sweden? You don't know any of this? You're going to hear more about it today. Right here on the Savage Nation, let's go to some of the callers. We're going to keep looking for the truth on who stabbed the French train hero. Who stabbed him? Who stabbed him? Could it be just a, a random Asian? But he came out of a Chinese restaurant, he was a cook or a busboy? What kind of nonsense is this? I mean, if I were a Chinese American, I would find that offensive. Are we to understand that a Japanese American did this after coming out of a Japanese restaurant? What do you mean by Asian? I think that's quite a racist cover, don't you? Can't they be more specific? KSFO Misty, fire away. What do you think went on in Sacramento? Hey, Michael, this is the first that I've heard about it. You're talking about it, so I don't have all the details. I'm sorry. But my first gut instinct is, is gang violence. <clears throat> Sacramento no, and... Hold it, hold it. They called them Asians. They said Asians. We know that. They didn't say whites. They didn't say Hispanics. They didn't say blacks. So what does Asian mean? Well, there's, there's a gang. I'm not sure the exact name. MS, MS1, MS2. There's, there's serious gangs, and I believe that they are Asian, um, or possibly maybe those ones are also Mexican. But I, my first gut... Whoa, 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 whoa. How can you now say Mexican is Asian? Where'd that come from? No, I didn't say it's Asian. I said those that gangs are in different groups that way. Sometimes you got Mexican gangs. Sometimes you got Asian gangs. Right, so you're saying that in Sacramento there may be Asian gangs roaming the streets? Oh, there are there are serious uh, gangsters that yes roam the streets in those cities. My first gut instinct. That's all I can tell you is that it's a uh, gang violence. All right. So you don't you don't think in your gut that it's a jihadi who tracked down the French train hero and uh, uh, picked on him and got him into a, a fight in order to stab him. Uh, see, like I told you, I'm very sorry. I missed the first hour. All right, so so great, great call. A nice pick. Someone who doesn't know the story, didn't hear me talk about it, but had an opinion and got on my show. That's what you call Cracker Jack call screening. Maybe the next one will talk about Mickey Mouse in uh, in Disneyland and tell me she doesn't know what I'm talking about. Okay, my friends. WMAL Bob, go ahead. Your opinion counts. You're on the Savage Nation. Yeah, first of all, I, I think you're jumping the, jumping the conclusions. However, let me let me qualify that. I think what you say is a possibility, but based on a report that I heard from the uh, from the officer, I he doesn't really know, but he tends to think it was more a nightlife boy girl or rivalry type of thing between. Oh, we we all heard we heard that nightlife related incident. That that's a nice phrase, a nightlife related incident. That that's really a nice way of putting stabbing someone almost to death. But putting that aside, they also said it was Asian males who did it. Did you hear that part of it? I did hear that, and this is what here's what I what went through my mind. I'm going to be a Michael Savage. I see I see a bunch of guys going into a bar. There's there's a, some nice women there. Some of them might be Asian. Some of them may be various races. They're all trying to compete against them. Something goes bad. The white guy scores. Boom, the Asians get PO'd, and, and the rest is history. I understand, but what do you mean by Asian? When you say Asian, that, that's quite a broad category of people, isn't it? Good that's a good point as well. Asian can mean... I mean what, 